What's going on everybody? This is Chuck It's with Simply Vegas, your Las Vegas realtor and also your Henderson realtor. Today we are at a community called Bur Burlington and basically we are in this small little community that has about 16 lots and this property is located near Las Vegas uh boulevard so las vegas boulevard is probably about less than i would say about two blocks away and the south point is located right there and the airport here is about 17 minutes away here so let's take a look uh here's the uh, airport i don't know if you guys could see that 17 minutes We're located right here on the south side so this lot obviously is on the corner as you can see and all these lots right here are about a half an acre and this project was originally from Cal Atlantic but got bought out by Lennar this is actually one of their standing inventories that they have it was actually under escrow but uh, buyer could not perform so fell out So let's go through these uh, French doors here. So as we enter, looks like all the lights are turned off. Let's see if the lights are on, here we go. Let's start off with this room right here. So this is actually the Windsor model and the site, home site is site 11. And the original price at the time of the sale with the buyer was actually three, I'm sorry, 840,000. And I believe right now it's listed with um, realtor.com for 790. But right now uh, they are willing to dump it for 775,000. Now this is 4,172 square feet. It is a single story, it has five bedrooms, also a dual master four and a half bath three car garage it does have a library as well dining cover patio and a galley hall double sink has a super island too as well what i should have done was turn on all the lights first here nice sink Granite. Oh, the texture right here is actually the SmackDown, which is really nice. Here's your cabinets, white cabinets. 
has that modern look. They actually did a really good job of cutting the holes in the cabinets. So, take a look at the flooring here. So as we come in, oh, you know what? Let me turn on the light here. So it looks like the shower here looks like a cultural marble or petrophenia. I think that's how you pronounce it. So this one actually shares a bedroom, so it's a Jack and Jill. So it looks like we do have 10, 10 feet ceilings. This room does have phone jack and cable outlets. And it already comes with the can lights. Now this is not a model home, remember that guys. This one is actually for sale today at uh, 775000 Closet looks to be about four by six. Decent. Two panel door. So here is the uh, bedroom that, the second bedroom that we were in, okay? So we're coming into the third bedroom. So I like the fact that this bedroom actually has its own bath. So you got a tub shower combo. Uh, the tub is cast iron, which is a plus. You have your fixtures. It's a little bit dark in this uh, bathroom. Same flooring, 12 by 24. I'm gonna show you guys the fixture here. Okay. HOAs, they're $175 a month. Just due to the fact that there's only uh, 16 homes here. Um, each home is about a half an acre lot. Unfortunately, the original buyer spent all this money on the uh, upgrades, installing all the lights, all the can lights. They actually did it the right way. You have six inch baseboards, straight edge. You have a two by eight closet, standard. This room also has a phone jack, cable jack as well, which is nice. Linen closet. You have five shelves. Coming down the hallway here. Oh, look at that. Reverse tray ceilings. That's actually really nice. On this area right here, you could probably put a nice picture or something. Same thing on this side. It's really nice. The flooring is not wood, it's a tile, which is really nice. This room here would actually probably be the formal dining area because you have the butler's pantry there. Okay. Closet. Of 
closet's about three by four. This would actually be your utility closet. And that's what that panel is. Now here is the open floor plan. Wow, this thing is huge. Talking about the big island, right? Man, this is nice, look at this. That is a huge island. This is actually a three inch granite. Oh, I love the drop in sink. Really nice, beautiful fixture. Shelving space, yep, that's really nice. There was another uh, video that I did uh, where a couple of videos ago, and they were asking for a million dollars for the home. And this one's only at 775 today. I would actually buy this one versus the other one. That one was probably like less than five, 10 minutes away. Love the uh, double stack oven. Let's take a look at the quality cabinets here. Okay, so these are not the best of the cabinets. Okay. Yeah, you have your six inch crown. Eight inch backsplash. Six burner stove. KitchenAid refrigerator. Let's see if I can get you guys a better vigil here. Look how much space this thing has. Also, let me show you guys something here. Let's see here. Burring in the states okay so basically this is what's going on right now give me a second here they're pretty much already sold out so we're actually in this model right here the Windsor okay uh, basically there's one two three lots available that's left and if you wanted to purchase that you can only uh, build the Belmont and the Belmont right now is going for 684, and that is 3,776 square feet. Single story, four bedrooms, three and a half bathrooms, den, dining room, and a four car bay. Okay, so the Belmont here, these are your elevations that you can actually pick from. Okay, here's also the floor plans. Also, if you want the uh, floor plans on here, let me know. Uh, I will definitely will give you uh, the link for it. Also, here are some of the uh, options. Not the options, but actually what comes standard with Lennar. Uh, one thing about Lennar is a lot of stuff that you see actually comes with it. So that's something that I do appreciate. So it looks like this is where you would put your entertainment. And this right here, I wanted to show this to you guys. If you want to put your flat screen TV, because everybody's mounting their TVs on, on the walls now, right? Here's your plug, right? But then this is where you're going to run your cable outlet, and it drops all the way down to here. Then you take your cable outlet here, and you plug it into here. However, you know that not everybody does that anymore. Why, why won't you just take get rid of this and just set everything up here, the cable outlet here? We actually have two options, a cable outlet here too as well. So that way you don't even have to run it. Because what happens is on the bottom, then you'll have that little cable thing coming out. And it just doesn't, it's not streamlined, it just doesn't look smooth. 
Also, this is all pre-wall wired for surround sounds as well. Let me see if I can get the light on for you guys. There we go. Here's uh, the butler's pantry that I was talking about. You have your little refrigerator, cabinets, sink. Uh, the cabinets are not, they're good cabinets, but they're not like the high-end cabinets. But they're good. Sliding glass door, it is not a pocket door. Let's see how smooth this thing opens. So go down. So it looks like we have dual pane, Eon gas, uh, window panes. And these are uh, the almond color. Now, what builders are now doing is for the vinyl, you can actually have it uh, two ways. You can go white or almond, but now they charge you if you want to go uh, almond or white. But here's one thing that I've learned that I wanted to share with you guys. If you guys go almond, right, then the outside of your window frame is also going to be almond. So here's the thing. One thing that you have to take a look at when you're picking your elevation and elevation is actually you have three options on how you want the exterior to look. If it matches the outside because you're picking almond and the colors that you have, like this almond color matches everything. If if you had white, then all your window trims would actually pop out and it may not match the exterior home. However, one thing that you have to think about is that if you change it to almond, then now the inside of your home is also an almond color. But you have to think about what your color scheme and your interior design is going to be. So for me, I like a clean, modern look with the gray, right? If you have an almond with a more of a darker gray, it's not going to match. But the white will definitely pop. However, you still can go with it, but then you would have to have some sort of window treatment to really cover all that stuff. So those are things that you should be thinking about when or if you have the option to go almond or white. So these doors slide pretty easy. Give me a second here, okay. So what we're going to do is actually go back over here first because I believe this one is the uh, master bedroom and there's another master bedroom too as well. So we have the west wing and the east wing. So here is your powder room. Nothing special about this. Like the fact that there's a tray ceiling, that's really nice. And also, it looks like you do have surround sounds, recessed lighting. This is probably 20 by 20. This home is more of a contemporary home. Okay. Um, you got rounded corners. Coming into the bath. Hold on, let me get the lights. Okay. Let's turn that off. Start off with the tub here. Beautiful, nice tub. However, I think that it is a little bit too big for this area. Let's 
I don't think this is the the master master. I believe this is Petrophenia. Oh, check this out. I didn't even realize this. Look, you got a shower here. You got also your bench here as well. And another shower head here. That's nice. At least you, you guys can take a shower together. You don't have to like wait, you know? Closet say 10. Probably 10 by 12. Decent size. Two panel doors. Um, this is actually, it's not insulated, it's just a standard door. You got nickel brush fixtures. Here's your toilet area. That's nice, you have your door here to access the backyard, which is really nice. Also, this room has phone jack as well, and also um, cable outlet, and also for your flat screen TV. So we have another little cabinet storage area. This has got to be the master here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. This one's a little bit longer though. Now this is a engineering flooring. like the fact that there's a sliding glass door there. A closet. This closet's only four by six. Decent size. However, this is not the master closet. So we got the same tub and decent sized shower. I, I like this layout better than the other master, but now I don't know if this is the master master or if the other one was the master master. Let me know which one you guys think is actually the main master. I had to turn on the lights, here's your Tray ceilings. Oh, look at this. You got your rainfall shower head. And here's your toilet. Okay. Coming back. Hmm. Show you guys the shower real quick. I love the side bench here, that's really nice. Nice to sit down, scrub your feet. This is a pretty decent size, probably like six by four. This only has one shower head. So I, I think the other one is actually the main master, I'm, I'm thinking. I mean, I don't know, let me know what you guys think. Is this the master master or is the other one the master master? Also your... Cable TV outlet phone jack is here, so if your TV's there, then your bed is gonna go here, right? And I guess you would put like some sort of furniture right here to lead to the outside, I guess. Like a little retreat area. 
This is the garage, but before we go in the garage, let's go into the laundry room. Decent sized laundry room. This is just probably a coat closet or a closet, yeah. You guys can see that there. Okay. Let's go into the uh, garage. Here is a two car garage. So we got your irrigation system. You got your uh, 24 volt for the doorbell. Electrical panel in the inside. That looks like an 80 gallon water heater. If you purchase a home like this, one of the things that I highly re recommend that you actually get a drain pan underneath. Because if this starts leaking, then you're going to have water on that drywall and it's going to start to sag. Uh, soft water loop. Okay, so that way you can put your soft water and also your filtration system. And also your uh, main line for the water. So we're going to head back in. And let's explore the exterior of the property. So this is nice where you actually have some sort of little courtyard area, but this is weird. You, you drive up here to park your car, but then you can't really enter through this way. I would have probably blocked this off and had this a bigger courtyard area to have a living space, open that up, which was that first room that we went into and probably open this up so that way this is all incorporated to like one big living area because what are you gonna do? Just take your car and park it right here? It's such an eyesore. Like this is a waste of space. Like I would have probably blocked that in and make this like a part of the house. But that's just my thoughts. Let me know what you guys think. So let's go to the outside and see what the outside of this thing looks like. Now, when you buy a brand new home, it does not come landscape. Keep that in mind. I like the fact that the eaves are stucco, not wood. This is a huge lot right here. It does have sensors for floodlights. That's great. Also, you have a bunch of um, outlets there, so that way you can run security system. Looks like you got two units, uh, Lennox. Also, one thing with these uh, AC units, um, for the condenser, if you buy a home and you start planting plants around here or having things uh, lean up against the condenser, um, you're not gonna work your condenser efficiently, so you wanna stay away from that. Also, as you can see right here, this is a part of your AC unit, and right now it's actually uh, dripping from the uh, AC. The reason why it's actually um, dripping from the AC is because um, there's moisture buildup uh, inside the condenser, I'm sorry, inside of the, uh, the furnace and the coils because it's so humid and that's normal. So don't be afraid for that. However, if you start seeing it drip on the secondary, that means there could be a possible leak. So keep an eye on that. But you'll mostly get that when it's humid how it is today. Remember, it's still monsoon season.
So it looks like we have a, a gas line here, a water spigot. And what you see right here is actually the return line for like uh, sewage and also what's well, a return line to the sewage. So uh, if something gets clogged, it's just an easy way to access uh, that for the plumber to, uh, what do you call, uh, snake everything out. So that was actually the garage. This could also be for an RV parking as well. Also, there's a garage right there, which we did not uh, access. There's really no need to access that garage because it's you can't access, access the garage from the house anyway. It's more like probably for like storage. So let's go back in here. Nice and cool in here, that's for sure. Now for some apparent reason, I'm always breaking this thing. I don't know why. So we'll bring this thing up, okay. We're gonna exit to this way and just kind of take a look around. Okay, let me grab my paperwork here real quick. I mean, this is a really huge lot. Now, let me know what you guys think about this. I mean, number one, look, you pull your car here, but look at all this dead space here. It's like, what do you, what do, you do with that? Here's the uh, storage. Check out your third car, three car garage, whatever you want to call it, it is corner lot. If you guys haven't subscribed to this channel, go ahead and uh, subscribe to the channel. Let me know what you guys think about this property. Other than that, um, I just wanted to say the subscriber count has uh, risen pretty dramatically. So I just wanted to say thank you. I, I know that I always, you know, say this towards the end of the video, but however, you know, I really do appreciate each and every one of you guys that you know subscribe to this channel it really means a lot to me and again channel can't grow without you and i do appreciate it let me know what you guys think about this property in the comments below i'm chuck it's cruiserwatt with simply vegas and have a blessed day